Ruba. What do you want? Orizi? Scrambled? Cold? Come here. That's a good one. My parents um, brought us up close and everything that we did together was together, um, whether if it was on or off the field, if it was with sports or, you know, going to the laundromat. We grew up without electricity until I was in about seventh or eighth grade. My dad always wanted us outside. So that just, um, you know, that was another thing why we had our lacrosse sticks in our hand because we weren't inside, you know, like the typical other kid where he's got, you know, TV he can watch. We didn't really watch that. Pretty much filled with lacrosse, from what I remember. Um, just always being on a tournament, um, playing in the backyard, um, always being down at my uh, grandmother and grandfather's house. My dad thought that. He didn't want us to pick up bad habits, starting playing at a young age. And, um, you know, for me, I started when I was seven, which is still a little late. Um, but at home, we always had our stick in our hands. We're always playing backyard games, two on twos against each other. We used to stick Lyle in that when he was younger. We put pillows around him. <laughs> everyone versus everyone. Not a coincidence that we're away from each other. And when we do come back together again, it's always, um, you know, it's always a fun thing and exciting thing. We always get to come back together again because we miss each other. I spent a lot of time with my dad right by his side, you know, following his tracks. I can remember back to about, you know, three or four years old when I was just an infant here at the Nationals, had to scrimmage just the U.S. and a couple other teams, I believe. And, uh, you know, I was right there. A lot of times when it comes to athletics, when it comes to sports, the credit goes to your father, who's kind of the driller, the teacher. And that's, that's what my father was. That was a teaching point with every, everything we did. I remember this story my mom used to tell everyone where um, she's the one that taught us how to play lacrosse. My mom is, uh, her name's Dolores Thompson. She is um, probably the best cook out there. But she, she's the type of person who always puts people ahead of her. She's out there looking for, for other people's happiness before, before herself. When you think about the relationships in your lifetime, um, your mother, your grandmother, um, your aunts, your uncles, uh, you ask yourself, you know, what are the purpose of those people in your lifetime? I wanted to tell a story about my mothers, my grandmothers and my mothers because they don't get enough credit. My mother is the one who kind of put, kept that stick in my hands. She drove my passion. She was the one who gave me passion. And my mother's the one that, you know, put that stick in her hands because she was the one working with us while my dad was off to work. He's the one that taught us the game of lacrosse. But really, my mom had, had a lot to do with what kind of people we are today. And she doesn't get that recognition for that. Um, same thing with, with, my, with my grandmother. For me, uh, my grandmother um, was always there spiritually for me. She taught me a lot of my language that I know, my traditional um, native tongue that I know, uh, which is the Mohawk language. And, you know, she was just a very, very humble person. Just how to let things go. If that was negative energy, she made it seem like that wasn't even negative. She just made it seem like, you know, everything's gonna be all right. She always had a positive attitude toward things. The reason me and Miles moved up to Salmon River was to spend time with her, learn language, and because she, was, she got sick with cancer, so we wanted to be there for her, help her out. But at the same time, she was helping us out because she was surrounding us with, with that culture and um, the language that she was teaching us every day. You know, she's taught us how to, how to do a lot of things. And my mother was, she's been there since day one. You know, I have, a, I have a son and a daughter on my own and I watch and see my wife, the things that she does. You know, my mother did that for me. 
you know, you don't you don't notice how much work my mom actually has done until you have a kid. It's a matriarch society. We are who who our mother is. You know, I'm Onondaga because of my mother. I'm Hawk Clan because of my mother. You know, that's something that we wanted to show. When it comes to lacrosse, passion starts with your stick. That connection you have with your stick and me, my brothers, we talk about that all the time, you know. To me, my mother's the one who gave me that. Growing up, that was when I heard my dad, their, their biggest thing was, was going out there and respect. Along with our, our culture, um, the thing we go along is, is giving thanks for everything that we have here on, on Mother Nature. We really hold women as a high regard in our family, in our society, really. They're one of the major decision makers in our culture. The men, um, you know, have to hear by the women. And, you know, you start to see more women, you know, finding their own power and kind of really bringing themselves out in society. Whereas, you know, kind of in our culture, it's been always something that's been a part of our traditions and our legacy, really. To my mother, I appreciate everything you've done for me. I feel like I'm the human being I am today because of you. I appreciate that. So Nyawaha means thank you. Like I said, the best thing she gave me was the passion. And when you look at any, any elite player in any sport, that's one thing they have is the passion for the game. I think the best message would just be to say Ganalonkwa, which means I love you or, or you're, you're my medicine. She understood is what she did. She, she understood how much I love the game and she made sure um, I kept that passion. You know, self-care, self-love is important in life. And that, uh, you know, I really feel like uh, love is uh, the number one thing in this lifetime that anyone can really learn. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate, you know, what you taught. And you know, really showed me in words and your actions. And to my grandmother, my little Margie. She really has been has been medicine for me. Uh, you look back, you, I mean, you look at what medicine is, it's something that makes you feel good, something that makes you better. Um, and she's, she's that, she made, she made me a better lacrosse player, but more importantly, I think the biggest thing she, she did for me was make me a better person. I give thanks to all the lacrosse players, uh, my opponents that I'm going out there to play against. And that really kind of stemmed back to you is really giving my thanks and I really appreciate that. And I know I, Love you for that, and you know, is it gonna look but I hope you're watching, I hope you're listening. And this stick and die job resembles you and what you have taught me. And I hope you enjoy it. I miss you and I love you. She always wanted me to carry on my tradition. That's the, re that's the reason why I'm in this language program. She was fluent in Kanyak Geha. And I want to be the same for my kids. And I want to teach them that. And she's one of the main reasons why. Kanalanko, to the both of you.